This video is all about our crawfish excursion. What a fun trip. This was absolutely so much fun. It's not a lot of hard work, but it was fun and it was exciting to be able to do it and help uh, learn a lot about crawfish that we didn't know. So you get to go out on the boat and, or boat, I don't know, it, it literally will drive itself across land too. It's just the strangest thing. Um, and help sort the crawfish. At the end, you, you, uh, we show you the bags we caught. And he will do a crawfish boil. If you pre-plan it with him, you can have a crawfish boil. I would have loved to have done that. We just weren't in a position to do that at this time. We had mom and the puppies back at the camper, and I, I couldn't leave them for that long. But um, that's something I would have loved to have done, and we'll definitely try to plan a trip back here. It's also a bed and breakfast. So you can go there, stay in the bed and breakfast, do an excursion, have a crawfish, it's awesome. They, and he even has about four campsites, um, RV hookup sites. That So if you have your RV and you want to stay there, you can do that too. Um, he's a great storyteller. I have a copy of his book that he wrote on his for his recipes. And um, I'll just let you listen to him storytell it towards the end where he talks about the house and all. It was a great experience and I highly recommend it. If we go, if we go 40, 50 days with no rain, they're going to bury deeper to get water. They're known to bury up to eight foot deep. Wow. But if they go that deep, chances are they won't survive. That's why some of your, your, your catch is better than others. Mm. Made this kitchen table. I'm gonna 
electrician by trade, but I can kind of do a little bit of everything. This is Miss Rose right here. Miss Rose was he born this. in this house. She lived to be 92 years old. Her parents were the original owners of the house. And this is her parents right here. The, right here, the house was built in 1903. In 1957, her parents went to pick up one of her sisters that lived in Cameron, Louisiana. That's when Hurricane Audrey hit. Hurricane was supposed to hit the next day, it hit that night. Miss Rose lost seven members of her family. Mom and dad, a sister, brother, nieces, and nephews. At the time, Miss Rose was living in this little house right here in Henry, where the community I grew up in, which is 30 minutes. Actually, the President of the United States parted the turkey for Thanksgiving, mm -hmm. but we parted the crawfish. <laughs> Four years in a row. I do it with the Lieutenant Governor of Louisiana. This is this is this year's crawfish right here. And we and I'll show you the picture. <laughs> when COVID hit last year, March 14th, it shut me down. Mm -hmm. My first project, I built the handicap ramp outside. My second project, there's a, this room right here. I took a closet and I turned it into a bathroom. So each bedroom has its own bathroom now. My third project, I wrote a cookbook. This cookbook right here has the history behind me, kind of like who taught me how to cook and that type of stuff. Bayou Wild TV has been here several times. This is Bayou Wild TV right here. They've been here several times. Lieutenant Governor's been here of Louisiana. He, they both wrote a little thing about my food. My, but my mom passed away seven years ago. And when I was writing, I don't cook sweets and I don't eat sweets. And they said, you can't write a cookbook without sweets. Sure. Huh? Yeah, you can. Well, for me, I wrote I wrote a cookbook and I used my mama's recipes and my aunt Hazel's recipes. And we sweets. found we found my mom's handwritten recipes in this right here oh, is in her handwriting. So this page is in honor of my mom. But when you go to the main dishes in the front, if you see like no name underneath them, that's my recipes. If you go in the back and you see Ina Toops mm -hmm. or Hazel Perrin, that's my mama's sister and and my mom, which were both good sweet cookers. Oh, really? So, buy you Wild TV, and I, they just sent me this this week, and I haven't had time to build a frame for it yet, but they've been here four times. So if you Google buy you Wild TV, and you look for episode number five, Crawfish Excursions, High Tech Bowling, that was their first trip here. Their second trip here was this one here, episode number 19, we went to a... Uh, Frogging. frogging. Then last year we brought Miss Louisiana frogging. <laughs> and and she was scared to death of him. She missed about 20 something frogs, but she finally caught one at the end of the night. Ah! So <laughs> if, if you want to laugh, you can go to you Google Buy You Wild TV and go back and look at episode number 88. You're going to have fun laughing. <laughs> so this year, three weeks ago, we did the new Miss Louisiana, who is. Um, we did just, a, this, to me, out of all four shows, this is the best show, mm -hmm. by far. I had a little band came, play some music. My grandkids were able to come. That little redhead had the time of her life to meet Miss Louisiana. <laughs> <laughs> my, that's my, my grandkids. Sweet. This is awesome. It is. So you ride? I, listen, I used to have 180 head of cattle. Okay, so you ride. I ride. That was my grandfather's saddle. Mm -hmm. uh, that saddle is uh, probably close to 100 years yeah, old. Yeah, that's an old, old ripping. So, y'all want to check out my lavatory? It's an old ripper saddle. That's something like what Dad had. Yes, so. Look at the wall. Um, my kids would love that. That's beautiful. Isn't that pretty? Yeah. And I like the bedding. That bed is very right there. Okay. okay, we did a version of that at our house. Yep. That Ours looks nice. look different, but that's the same thing we did. That's beautiful. And he so used the metal. This top was on the other side, and I put it on this side. And it's oh, small, sure. but I, I wanted to keep it because it was one of the part of the mm -hmm. house. Mm -hmm. The rock work. Yeah, that's beautiful. Good. Isn't that native? That's awesome. No.